Now, these numbers are going to blow your mind away. Myocardial insulin sensitivity with PET and fluorodeoxyglucose improved by 75%. Your heart, we showed this before, is severely insulin resistant. I came pretty damn close to normalizing its insulin sensitivity in your heart. Now, since we're doing the insulin clamp with treated glucose, you can track it. 74% improvement in skeletal muscle insulin sensitivity. It's the same. Exactly the same. If you look at ejection fraction, it went up by five to 10%, not down, it went up. If you look at every measure of diastolic dysfunction, E mm. over A, E over E prime, uh, LV peak filling pressures, et cetera, uh, cardiology people understand this. The point is whether you're looking at systolic function or diastolic function, it all got better. So it's a, it's, it's a victim of maybe not so nuanced thinking about the drug. Yeah. Now the critic would push back and say, okay, Ralph, but don't we have better drugs? Like, I mean- No drug that, that corrects insulin resistance. Right. Metformin is not an insulin sensitizer and people keep going back to this. So I, I brought metformin to the US in 1995. I know this, I did all the mechanism of action studies. And what we showed was the insulin clamp. The drug absolutely does not improve insulin sensitivity. So let's talk about metformin. 